Begin tonight in Dallas County where detectives are investigating the death of a mother and her little boy. Segaville police were called to a welfare check last week when relatives couldn't get in contact with them and officers found the mother and son both unresponsive inside their home. Janelle Ford just spoke with some of their neighbors and joins us live in Segaville with what she's learned. Well, Chris and Izzy, overall, this is just a very sad situation. The neighbors tell me that the mother and son were found dead in the garage of this home. You can see where someone's come and placed flowers out front. And tonight, investigators are working to learn exactly what happened. First, you hear the screams. Then moments later, you see the first responders. They're heading two doors down to this home where 27 year old Lyric Backus and her seven year old son Deuce were found dead in the garage. It was just mayhem. Everybody out here crying, screaming. The cops were out here, they had taped it off. Backus's family believes the pair died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Police are waiting on autopsies before confirming. This was the most people I've ever seen out here at once. Dion Loggins' home surveillance cameras captured the chaos Friday morning. He just gotten back from his morning run. Yeah, I was concerned about the little boy. Like, is, is he at school? Like, cause I know him and my daughter go to school right here. Deuce was a first grader at Seagullville North Elementary. Monday, the school sent this letter home to parents, saying in part, we extend our love and sympathy to their family at this time and that they will have counselors on campus to help students and staff cope. What a little boy, I was like, oh, he, the once I heard he was gone, that's what it hit me the most. I was like, oh, wow, like he was just out here playing with my son what, about a week ago. Now Loggins is trying to figure out how to give his little boy the news. It's just hard for me to have a three-year-old son and have to tell him how he lost his first, his first friend. Friday was Lyric's birthday. She was a social media influencer. She had a clothing boutique and tens of thousands of followers. And across social media, tributes are pouring in mourning her death. Crazy. In Seagullville, I'm Janelle Fort.